Your Paradigm Veo is a user-friendly pump designed to help you live more and worry less. In this online instruction manual, we'll carefully explain how to use your pump and how it can help you to manage your diabetes. Before we go on, here are some of the items you will need. A Paradigm Reservoir, integrated with a transfer guard. A Paradigm Infusion Set, which connects the Paradigm Veo to your body. And finally, the Mini Link and Sensor, needed if you are using the Paradigm Veo's Continuous Glucose Monitoring functionality. Now, let's take a closer look at the Paradigm Veo itself. The Paradigm Veo is simple and easy to use for new and experienced users. There are five buttons that will help to navigate screens, make selections, and enjoy the full functionality of the pump. Let's demonstrate just how straightforward it is. Pressing the B button allows you to administer an express bolus. Pressing the ACT button allows you to make on-screen selections and confirm information. Pressing the ESCAPE button allows you to return to the previous screen and to access the main menu. And with the up and down arrows, you can scroll through your menu and submenus and also make therapy adjustments. The down arrow also allows you to activate the backlight when pressed at the same time as the bolus button. Try to familiarize yourself with these buttons now as we will be referring to them throughout the instruction video. Let's find out a little more about the menu screens on the Paradigm Veo and how you can navigate through them. You may find that some of the menu items we refer to in this section do not appear on your Paradigm Veo. If your sensor is turned off, for example, none of the sensor sub-menu items will be visible. Don't worry, this is normal. To start with, let's head to the main menu, which you can do by pressing the ACT button once. You can then choose a sub-menu by scrolling to it with the arrow keys and pressing ACT again. Now, to navigate back to the previous screen or to return to the main menu, just press the ESCAPE button once. Let's now look at a few examples of how you can find the features and functions you are looking for. First, how do you access the basal menu? Well, you can begin by pressing the ACT button once. Now scroll to basal and press the ACT button again. You will now see the basal menu. Depending on which functions are active, this will include Set Edit Temp Basal Cancel Temp Basal Select Patterns and many more. But what if you are looking for the bolus menu? Once again, begin by pressing the ACT button once. As you will see, the bolus menu will already be highlighted, so press ACT again. Items in the bolus sub-menu will include Set bolus, Use bolus wizard, Manual bolus and many more. As a final example, 
Let's show you how to reach the Utilities menu. Begin by pressing the Act button once. Next, scroll to the Utilities menu, then press Act again. You should now see a series of options, including Lock Keypad, Alarm, Daily Totals, and many more. You can navigate in exactly the same way to reach the sub-menus for Reservoir Setup, Capture Events, Suspend, and Sensor. Go ahead and try it to see how easy it is. As its name suggests, the Pump Status screen is the place to go if you'd like to know all the latest information about your pump. If you are using your Paradigm Veo only as an insulin pump, press Escape once to reach your pump status screen. If you are using your Paradigm Veo with the Continuous Glucose Monitoring option, press the Escape button twice. The pump status screen includes Last Alarm Active Insulin Last Bolus basil, and many more, including the status of your battery, the current date, and your pump's serial number. If you're using the Paradigm Veo's continuous glucose monitoring functionality, the sensor status screen is where you can find all the latest information about your sensor. To access the sensor status screen, Press the Escape button three times. The Sensor Status screen will show you the time when your next calibration is due, how old your sensor is, and the status of the MiniLink transmitter battery. Your Paradigm Veo has three basic operational modes. Normal special, and attention. In normal mode, on the top left side of the screen, you will see how much insulin is left in the reservoir. In the centre of the screen, you will see the time. If you're using continuous glucose monitoring, you will also see a symbol that looks like an antenna. Finally, you will see how much battery power is remaining. In special mode, the screen will basically look the same, except a circle will appear between the insulin icon and the clock. Special mode indicates special situations, including low battery, temporary basal or dual wave bolus. The last mode is a tension mode. This is the most important because it means all insulin delivery has been stopped completely, which is indicated on the screen with a round circle with a black dot in the middle. By pressing ACT immediately, you will find out which alarm is currently operating, which will help you to quickly resolve the problem. The Paradigm Veo will issue a number of different alarms, and you must always press ACT to find out what the problem is. Here are some of the alarms you may encounter. Empty Reservoir This means you need to change your reservoir immediately. Weak Battery This means you need to change the Paradigm Veo's battery immediately. No delivery. This means that insulin is not being delivered through your infusion set. Check your blood glucose, check for ketones, and change your infusion set and reservoir immediately.
failed battery tests. This means you need to install a new battery. Bolus stopped. This means the bolus was stopped mid-delivery. Reprogram your bolus with the amount that was not delivered. Suspend. Press ACT to stop all insulin delivery. Basal, bolus, as well as fill cannula. If you are in the process of administering a bolus when you suspend the pump, you will not receive the entire bolus. To clear the alarm sound and vibration for all of these alarms, press Escape and then ACT.